look at this stuff. Isn't it neat? Wouldn't you think my collection's complete? Wouldn't you think I'm the girl? The girl who has Drunk. I've never seen you clearer than now. We're flying high, floating somewhere up in the clouds. We're going out of ourselves. Can you feel it? Almost like I don't know if it's real. Cause when we're doing our thing, we're the wheels that won't stop turning. So take me on a trip, 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 nah, trip, trip, trip. Oh, I flick the switch, kill the lights. So let's begin our Koran Palawan adventure. But before exploring the outdoors, here's a quick view of our room. We stayed in El Rio Imar, which is a boat ride away from Koran proper. On the first day, we decided to go to the Dugong Dive Center and do a tour to check out these beautiful sea mammals. Um, today we're starting to dive uh, to swim with dugongs and we've already spotted one. The eco-friendly dugong watching tour is an opportunity for you to snorkel or dive in the island where dugongs can be spotted. Before you can embark on this adventure, there are special procedures that needs to be followed before you can go on this trip. This is to ensure the safety of these beautiful creatures so you don't frighten them away. The chances of spotting them is around 80%, so if you really want to see these beautiful creatures, make sure your Koran trip is for a couple of days. Oh, such a great experience. They kind of look like dolphins that Aside from just the dugongs, the tour also included island hopping to different other islands. Righty yo! Okay, you know how much effort this takes? <sighs> Lucky we're exhibitionists in the water! Woo! Woo! In the water! The following day, we woke up before sunrise to make our way to the remote Kalauid Safari Park. This tourist spot gives you a glimpse of Africa in a tropical setting. I'll get it to Africa anymore. You can sit atop a jeepney, at your own risk of course, and see the beautiful African wildlife from a safe distance. Some imported wildlife include the zebras and the giraffes. They also have a fun activity for the visitors, which is an experience to feed the giraffes with your bare hands. It can be a little intimidating at first, especially considering their size, but they are very friendly and also love to be fed. Aside from African wildlife, you could also spot some local animals at the park. After a long day at the park, we make our way back to our resort to enjoy the sunset. Make your back face a sunset. Huh? Make your back face a sunset. Like that? What the F? <laughs> I meant your back butt. Sunsets at your back. Check out that view behind me. Just climbed out a really short hike from the resort. And check that out. Such a great view. There's a world inside my head. That song is right. From a distance, the world does look blue and green. <laughs> <laughs> From a distance, the world looks blue. 
na 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 na. So it's day three today. We just finished our hike, and it's pretty much a rest day for us. So we're just gonna do photo shoots for our Instagram. <laughs> what are you doing now? I'm putting the memory stick back into the drone. I forgot to bring a removable drive. Of all places, I had to forget it here. So what we're doing is we're transferring it to a really old laptop. Oh my god, it's stuck. <laughs> Seriously. Uh oh. <laughs> For the final day of our Koron trip, we've saved the best for last and did the Twin Lagoon and Lake tour. We woke up really early in the morning to make our way to Koron proper so we can take a group tour. This is the time. tourists here but you know I think it's worth a visit look look at this look how beautiful it is the water is so clear as well I didn't bother swimming. It kind of looks the same as the other two lakes, but I think the view here is a lot more beautiful. It's a lot bigger than the other two. There's a lot more space to roam around and swim. It's so nice to just sit down and chill. Kayagan Lake, where the water is 70% fresh water and 30% salt water. Tastes exactly like Viva. <laughs> Buy that bottle for tasting this water. <laughs> So which was your favorite lake? Um, I really like I like I like this lake and Barracuda Lake. Uh, I think the two are equally as good. This is much bigger, but I like that it's warm. The visibility is really good. And if you want underwater shots, this is the these are the two lakes to do it. And because the people don't come here to swim, they just come take their photos of the view and then they go to the next place to snorkel. So if you're into photography, underwater photography, um, you want to learn to snorkel. Um, this is the lake to do it in, or Barracuda. So I've been to the three tourist destinations here in Palawan. That's Coron, El Nido, and also Puerto Princesa. And for me, the difference between um, Coron is that there's actually a lot more activities to do here compared to the two other islands. For example, I was able to swim in the dugongs, go island hopping, swim with turtles, swim with stingrays, and also go in a almost African safari in Kalawit Island. El Nido, on the other hand, I would say is more beautiful because of the rock formations. But if you really want a trip with a lot of activities, I would say Coron is the place for you. Puerto Princesa, 
if you want caves monkeys <laughs> <laughs> lots of people but... lots of people yeah um, if I had to rank all three based on the amount of activities I would say number one would be Coron the second one would be Puerto Princesa and followed by El Nido but if you want in terms of beauty it's really hard to say I would say El Nido is since it almost looks like Thailand in a way but Coron is also I guess on par in a way because look at that view it's just it's just an amazing view and it was only a 10 minute hike you could climb to the top of any island you will get an amazing view like this Sing. I don't oh, know. <laughs> love that world. <laughs> You're gonna go have dinner now? Huh? You love dinner? 